Hello guys, it's Arnas and today I'm going to show you how to set up a VPS server on Vulture Cloud Server. So let's get started. I recommend to choose a high frequency compute option, which is a lot faster than the, the normal one. Uh, but the normal one has more servers with higher capacity. So it depends on your website requirements. So we will see this a bit later in the video. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one and let's scroll down. Make sure you are selected high frequency compute. And here are the servers. Uh, in this column, you can see the monthly price and you can choose according to your needs. If you have a simple website with nothing much going on, I recommend taking yeah, at least uh, two CPUs, about well, the third option for 18 bucks. And if you're using a WooCommerce or like multi-vendor store or I don't know, something very pr process heavy, I will recommend to take you a lot stronger server with at least three or four CPUs or more. If you have a lot of traffic, then you can select even stronger server. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to choose the, the, the cheapest one for this tutorial. So just click on it and you will get more information like single core score, multi core score and so on. So it's not important. The most important thing is the CPU and the memory. Uh, yeah, that's it. And yeah, keep an eye on the storage too. If you have a lot of things, heavy things, like if you are hosting videos or heavy pictures, big pictures, you will need a lot of storage. So just click deploy now. You will need to create now account and login. After doing so, you will see this screen where you can select your configuration for the server, VPS server and so on. So make sure you select high frequency. Then you need to choose your server location. The server location is the most important thing. So choose location closest to your visitors. So if your visitors are from uh, Canada, then choose a Canada server or closest to it. If you are from UK, then choose London. So for now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose London server. Hi frequency, London, let's go down. And now we need to select the server type. So just uh, select the marketplace apps and you have a lot of servers to choose from. You can directly install WordPress, you can install Plesk, cPanel and so on and so on. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use CyberPanel. If you want to see tutorial with any other panel, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to choose CyberPanel. You can click uh, more information, you will go to other page where they will explain what it is. Uh, I recommend CyberPanel because it has no limitations and it uses Lightspeed servers, which is Lightspeed technology, I mean, which is very fast and very good. And it's free. Okay, and the server size. Oh, so we can see that in uh, UK, London, we have a lot of servers, that's good. Uh, and yeah, like you selected before, select it again, your, your server that you dis you want to go with. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to choose the cheapest one. You don't need to select anything. You don't need it, so just skip it. You can skip this too. And here, just enter your server name. With test server, you can s write like your domain name without slash or anything, just one pure string. Okay, uh, it will enter here automatically, so don't change it, it's fine. And we can click deploy now. Now you will see server added successfully. We can see the status installing. So 
we are going to wait until the process is finished and then we can move forward with the tutorial okay the status have changed the running let's click on it and you can still get a notice that your server may still be finishing installing that's okay we're going to check it and we have basic information here like current charges cpu usage bandwidth and so on the ip address username and password that's very important to this information we will need it okay and if you scroll down you will see more information like your cyber panel link and other things okay so now we need to connect to the server itself using a putty software so let's go to putty and the first link download putty download putty and install and after that just open it then you will see this window i'm going to close it and you will see this window host name you will need to enter the ip address just copy that enter make sure you have this option selected and click open click accept right login as is root is the username enter and for password just click one time this symbol go back to your software and right click on your mouse one time you will see nothing that's okay just click enter and you are in inside the server console you will see do you wish to update the system now this will update the web server as well so just write I and that's it you will say enjoy your accelerated cyber panel server and now we need to get the cyber panel password so we can copy that and we can go to the new tab enter that you will see your connection is not private that's totally okay just click advanced proceed and we are in the cyber panel login screen but now we need to get the password just copy that the wall line but right click on your mouse one time and it will and automatically paste it in click enter and you will get your password this is your password you can just select it just select it don't click anything it will automatically copy it just paste it in and the username is admin and you are in the cyber panel dashboard and here you, you see your cyber panel like C panel you can configure everything and so on the most important thing is to check if the version is correct I see the version is fine then next go to the list packages click edit we will, we will set that everything is unlimited so for now you can have more, only 20 domains but we're going to set it unlimited disk space unlimited like not unlimited but 32 gigabytes and bandwidth also zero click save that's fine next step would be to uh, configure your php if you are going to use wordpress then this is very important uh, select 7.4 yeah everything is fine here so choose the second one edit php configs choose 7.4 or any other version that you are going to use make sure you set your memory to 512 megabytes max ex execution time is 300 it's recommended by wordpress itself the upload max file size you can put the same post max size also if you want to upload a bigger files just set like one gigabyte max input time 60 it's fine okay so just save changes okay it's saved and restart php you will get successful executed that's fine click advanced so choose 7.4 ctrl f and search for 
vars and we'll see max input vars set it to 3000 it's recommended and for elementor it is also very important save changes restart php then go to manage services application and make sure that redis is installed okay that's it you are ready to set up your first website and do the basic install installation configuration and so on so to get started just click websites create website and select your package select the owner domain name email select the php you can select the additional additional features and so on and make sure you connect your website with this ip address but if you want to see a tutorial for that, let me know in the comments. This tutorial is just about how to set up a VPS and install cyber panel. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will gladly answer that. Thanks for watching and bye bye.